Sheridan Travel, Spencer Lawrence speaking. Oh, hello, Mrs. Birnbach. It's good to hear your voice again. I am. I'm speaking right into the receiver. You want to go someplace? Warm and sunny? Right away. Mrs. Birnbach, I'm going to put you on hold. Please, don't hang up this time. Hey, Spence. I don't mean to butt in on your business. But we got a deal on Miami right now. Miami? Yeah. A senior, senior citizen's rate if you're over 85. Really? Yeah. Mrs. Birnbach, this must be a lucky day. I can get you two tickets to Miami. At a special rate? At a special rate. The day after tomorrow. Will Mr. Birnbach be bringing his dialysis machine on the plane? No, it's fine. It's a pleasure doing business with you. I know how much you like Don Johnson. Okay, bye. Oh my oh God! Where's my Rolodex? Were you always as immature? Or are you finally going through puberty? Hey, babe. I was just kidding around. your brother. Oh, hi, Lewis. Listen, the reason I'm calling, you know, Patty's been bugging me about uh, taking her on vacation. You want me to book your flight for you? No, 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 no. We got this great deal on a bus tour through Europe. Some special, special rate. Anyway, we're leaving this Sunday. I need you to take the kid for the week. He's on for break, because Patty doesn't want to leave him alone in the house. Is that your brother? Yeah, I got him on the phone now. Shut up! And Fat has got this crazy idea the kid could use some culture. You know, you're in the city. You take him to uh, show a couple of movies. Lewis, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working all week. All right, Spencer, I didn't want to bring this up, but uh, you still owe me money on the down payment of your car. This is what we're going to do. You take Bobby for a week. And uh, I'll give you a break on it. Uh, say 20%. Give him a hug, he's family. Is that your brother? Yeah! Offer him some money! You got your books in here? Yes. Lewis, is it all right if I go in, inside and uh, use the bathroom? Sorry, you can't stay. Tell him I'll be right down! He's in a rush! <laughs> Look, I'm going to talk to you in a couple of days to make sure you're doing your homework. If you don't listen to your uncle, I'm going to break your arm. <laughs> We've driven around this block 11 times. I'm getting dizzy. There's usually space on this block. Just put it into a lot. So what do you want to do when you're in the city? Do you want to go see the new Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? I've seen that three times. I got some free lunch breaks. Do you want to, do you want to go to the top of the Empire State Building? I did that when I was a kid. Susan! You live way uptown. Where am I? You're on Bay Street. Oh my god, I'm on Bay Street. Is this yours? Yeah. You know, I used to have one just like this when I first moved to New York. Yeah. Only mine was red. Or well, maybe they're from the same litter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi. Hi. That's my nephew, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. He's staying with me for a couple days. Great. Listen, Spencer, I gotta go, because I've got a long run ahead of me, okay? Oh, you want a ride? <laughs> see ya. I'll see you at the office. Damn. 
So who is that chick? She's somebody that I work with. Do you want a foam rubber pillow? Why don't you ask her out? What makes you think she'd want to go out with me? Because I'm an expert. Hey, see this? Ooh, what's that? A rash? <laughs> Suzette Weinstein. Looks like I got attacked by a vacuum cleaner. If you want to get a chick, you've got to outsmart her. You know, pretend like you don't care. You've always got to keep up your guard. If you snooze, you lose. <coughs> like when you offered that chick Susan a ride in your car. That was your big mistake. Never ever be nice to a girl. Makes you look like a dork. Hey, you got cable? No. No cable? No. Any shopping malls around here? Don't you have homework to do? School sucks. Mr. Fashad, I have your itinerary in front of me. On Tuesday the 23rd, you'll be arriving in Cairo. Now, from Cairo, you'll be going to the pyramids. From the pyramids, you'll be going to the Sphinx on a camel. A camel. Would you like one hump or two? They're both the same price. I was making a joke, Mr. Fashad. Yeah. Yeah, so then after that, you'll be seeing the Pyramid Remember me? Hotel. Hi, what are you Pyramid doing here? Me and Spencer are going to talk to get a bite to eat. Why don't you throw on a pair of sneakers and come join us? Uh, no thanks. I think I'm just gonna stay here. Anyway. Come on, on a day like this? You look like you could use some fresh air. Thanks a lot. Oh, come on. We'll jog around the lake a couple times. No, 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 not Besides, it's not every day you get asked out to lunch by a handsome guy like me. Who's the midget? That's the ugliest tie I've ever seen. Hey, Susan. I hear there's a new Cajun Japanese restaurant. You want to go check out some southern-style sushi? Yeah, yeah. No I'll, thanks, I'll, Victor. I have plan. I've made other plans. You hold just one second. Whatever happened to Mrs. Birnbach? Well, she never went to Florida. I booked her on a cruise to the Persian Gulf instead. Spencer. I'm only kidding. <laughs> God, it's really nice being outside. You know, this is the sort of thing that I always think about doing but never get around to it. Are you cold? No, I'm fine. I love this time of year. I think trees are so amazing without their leaves, you know? The way they sort of just reach up towards the sky. They're so hopeful. Come on, Spencer, let's eat here, huh? You know, your nephew's a cute kid. Yeah. I didn't even know you had a brother. Oh, yeah, Louis. He's two years older than I am. So he's spending some time with you? No, he's spending some time with his wife. They're on vacation. No, I, I meant Bobby. Oh, yeah, Bobby's spending some time with me. <sighs> so where'd they go on vacation? They went to Europe. Have you ever been to Europe? No, but I know someone from Rome. A guy? Yeah. So, Spencer, how come you keep your car in the city? I had to go to that town on the weekends. We've got a house in the country. My parents bought it when we were kids. Sounds nice. Oh, it's nice, yeah. No, it's small. It's only got one bedroom, so me and Louis had to sleep out on the porch. What do you guys do up there? Well, Louis had some friends, but there were no kids there my age, so Dad took me for long walks. There are a couple of great trails behind the house. You walk for about a mile, you had a wonderful view. Of what? More woods. I love that place so much because you're with your family. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter where I am. That's who I'm with. That's nice. Spencer, I have a problem. It's this guy I've been seeing. From Rome? Yeah. He comes from a very wealthy family, you know, and he wants me to move to Italy, live in a beautiful house, wear beautiful clothes, never work another day in my life. So, what's the problem? Do you think I should go? What do you want to do? I don't know. I mean, he says he loves me, you know, but he refuses to see that I've got my own plans for the future. I 
work on my own dreams. But how could he love you if he doesn't know who you are? Did you pop a boner? She likes me like a friend. Don't be such a dweeb. She's not going to tell you that she likes you until she knows you like her. Besides, you've got nothing to worry about. I'm a ladies' man. We've got the same blood. Hello. Yeah. Hey, Spencer, Lewis. Bobby, see death. Tell him I did it already. Spencer. You, Lewis, I'm still here. Yeah, how's Bobby? He's, uh, he's fine. Do you want to talk to him? No, no, that's all right. I'm just calling to see if things are going all right. You know how Patty worries. Is he doing his homework? <laughs> I don't want to have to, uh, break his arm when we get home. Uh, we, uh, Louis, you must be psychic because, um, we were just finishing it when you called. It's two miles across town from point A to point B. Bruce started walking across town from point A at one o'clock, traveling at five miles an hour. His brother Frank started walking across town from the same point at 1.15, traveling at eight miles per hour. Now, the question is... Why don't they just split a cab? Look, Spencer, just forget about it, all right? It's no use. On the last test, even Frances Shambaum did better than me. She's the dumbest kid in class. Some kids just aren't born math students. Oh, well... In that case, let's just forget about it. If you can't do it, you can't do it. Hey. Yeah? Okay. Oh, look, here we are already. Last problem. Hey, Spencer. Yeah? When you were a kid, did my dad beat you up a lot? Only when he caught me breathing. Come on, let's finish this. Farmer Jones's garden is 20 yards by 30 yards. And if he can hoe his garden at the rate of 100 square feet per hour, how many hours would it take him to till his entire garden? <laughs> Just tell him to buy a tractor. Wait, how many feet in a yard? All right. Four hours. That's it. See, you can do it. All right, give me five. Psych. You know, I was just thinking, maybe you should try a different approach this season. Girls like it when they think you're being honest with them. If you can fake that, you've got it made. Listen, Bobby, I appreciate you trying to help. But Susan's not a junior in high school. Women that age are interested in other things, like money. Just go for it. Sometimes things look worse than they really are. Like last summer, my dad sent me to this summer camp, Camp Whitefish. The camp sucked. There was nothing to do. So one day I figured I'd go swimming. And there was this really, really high high dive, like 20 feet. So I figure no sweat. I climb up the ladder, look down, and I'm scared shitless. I turn around, but there's all these guys climbing up behind me. I look down, and there's Jody Resnick looking up at me. So... I tell myself, there's only one way out of this. I've got to jump. And I close my eyes and I do it. And man, it was radical. See what I'm trying to tell you? No. If I hadn't jumped, I would have missed out on the best part of the whole summer. Sometimes you just got to go for it, man. Just go for it. Uh-oh. Here comes Damien's evil twin. Hey, Spence. Did you ask her out? Is it Miller time yet? No. I'm working up to it. Well, what are you waiting for? You're not talking about Susan, are you? Well, forget it, guy. She's out of your league. If I got shot down, you don't stand a chance. I'll tell you what. I'll set you up with my cousin, Frida. Picture. Linda Ronstadt. Add 50 pounds and a mustache. And there you are. Bobby, what are you doing? Hey, give me that. You're too young to drink coffee. Stunt your growth. Hmm.
haven't got my passport yet. Because I haven't decided that I want to go. Marco, you're not listening to me. All right, I don't want to go. Because I have a career in New York. I know it's not millions, but at least I earn it. Please don't say that. How can you love me if you don't know who I am? Marco, I can't talk right now because I'm at work. Thanks, Spencer. Susan, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is the right time to be talking about this, but... I'm sorry, Spencer. Could we just talk a little later? Thanks. Oh, yeah, sure. It wasn't anything important. Oh, damn. You let her get away. Well, she's upset about something. I'm gonna wait for her to stop crying. Some girls are always crying. It doesn't mean anything. Go on, get her. to get the courage to do it I again. I don't want to cry in front of people. Well, that's all right. I don't mind. I better hurry up before somebody comes in here. From the first moment I met you, I, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I haven't had the guts to say anything, but, well... Now I realize that if I don't, I could be missing out on the best times of my life. I'm going up to the country this weekend. And I was thinking that the mountains would have been more beautiful if you were there with me. I, I, I'm not saying that I love you or anything. I'm saying I want to get to know better who you are. Oh, would you like to come? Yeah. go inside with you? No, we got someone waiting for you. Same blood. I wonder if he's got a girlfriend. You have a really great time up at the cabin. There's, there's, there's a big front porch and a wood burning fireplace and, 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 and a lake and. Oh, oh, we can even go swimming. Isn't it a little bit cold to go swimming? No, no, there's hot springs all around the lake. I don't bring my bathing suit. Well, neither did I. She was leggy. They still train at quarter to eight. She was fine. A train arrived at half past nine. Dressed for work. Moving along in a knee high skirt. High heels on. Lord knows she was doing some. Talking, walking. Call my name with a rhythmic talk. Sweet talking, walking. Just a drop in. As a pop in. Sweet talking, walking. Guys are going sweet talking, walking Good old fashioned traffic stopping A different scene The sky was blue and the grass was green She took her time 
Gilmore looks pretty good. What, Spencer do this for you? What do you think? I take after you? Hey, Patty, come on down. I think we got a genius here. 